Today I'm going to show you how to tie the rolling hitch and I'm also going to show you some of its practical applications in the construction world. So the purpose of a rolling hitch is that it is designed to wrap around a cylindrical object and pull in a linear direction as opposed to being pulling at it on a 90 degree. It's designed to pull in this direction and thereby gets its strength, keeps it from slipping. And then I'll show you how we use it in construction. So first, let me show you how to tie it. So there's actually a couple of different ways to tie the rolling hitch. The first one uh, is the one that I use. So what you do is you're gonna go around your object and then you're gonna cross over this way and you're gonna make two wraps. So there's our first one and then our second one. And then we're gonna roll around to the back side or to the bottom here and then we're gonna lift and tuck and make a half hitch on the bottom. And then you just snug it all up and now you have the rolling hitch. The strength from this doesn't, it, it comes from this side. So this is your pull direction. If you pull this way, it's not nearly as effective and it can't come unraveled. So definitely when you're tying this, it's the direction of pull is gonna be against the double wrap. Now the second way to tie this is instead of crossing, what you wanna do is you're gonna go once around and then our second one is gonna go on top of that wrap and then you'll cross over and then you finish it off with a half hitch on the bottom like so. And so this is also the rolling hitch. I just prefer the first method a little more. Let me show you what its practical application is. So the main reason that we'll use a rolling hitch or its most practical application is to lift cylindrical objects up at height or, or to elevate them. So such as pipe or we do it on lumber too. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh, cylindrical. It works great on, on uh, two by fours as well. But another practical application is for lifting up tools. So say as an example that uh, you're working off a scaffold and the man on top needs a hammer, uh, but he's up there 60 feet or so. And uh, the only thing he has at his disposal is a rope. Well, you can very easily get this tied on where it will be very secure. So we'll just tie on the rolling hitch here first. We'll get it seated, kind of lower it down here to the base. Make sure that we get it tight and then we'll just throw a half hitch on it. And now the hammer is ready to lift.